Hey guys, it's Pink Reading Haze, aka Jade. Um, today I'm going to be doing a kind of casual video um, about tips on how to get into reading because I've got this question a lot and I've had a lot of people talk to me like, I really like, you make reading look so fun and I'm trying to get into it but I can't like, I sit down with the book and it's boring or I really want to get into it can you just give me some tips so because I spend a lot of my free time reading I am going to give you some helpful tips that help me read more so let's get into it okay so tip number uno is to have some books that you are interested in and to do that you want to like kind of think of what kind of genre you like so think about what kind of movies you like to watch just you can either like romance and contemporary contempor contemporary contemporary okay Jade get your life together you can like those or you can like sci-fi or thrillers so just kind of know what you want to read in the first place that'll help you pick out your books you know you feel tip number dose is to get on booktube aka youtube aka the world of books and recommendations and go type in my favorite thriller books that's what i did like because i was really into those and i was like yes girl i want to see what everybody likes and then i made a big purchase you know the whole shebang but just look up favorite books or just find some booktubers that you like that have the same kind of interest in you and then see what they like and then most likely you'll find a book and then you're ready to sit down and read it so let's get into that right now to number tress trace tress sure i'm taking spanish but i'm i don't know how i'm passing actually is to have your area nice and cozy but don't have any electronics nearby because when I'm still reading and I love to read I can get easily distracted by my phone so like I would have it on vibrate across from the room or like just on do not disturb so you don't have any temptations to pick it up and be like oh, what is she doing even though like it's so irrelevant you know so that's a big tip of mine don't get distracted by your electronics and try to get a cozy environment like in your bed um or the bathtub i used to read in the bathtub because you don't normally go on your phone in the bathtub i mean i do but like when i'm reading i don't like juggle my phone and like i don't have it sitting in the water next to me so it's kind of far away and then i'm just only focused on reading like i would say bath time is reading time for me what i used to do but now i just read like every time every day tip number quattro sure um is read in your free time at school okay okay i know you're like eh, what um but it's so true if you finish a test or an assignment in class and you have free time because trust me girl i know you have free time because i'm always i i used to be always on my phone when i had free time but all the free time i had in class equaled up to like an hour to two that's crazy right like an hour or two of free time in school i know but one read okay just read um i don't know about you but i don't really get distracted by noise around me when i'm kind of zoning out i all that noise just kind of mushes into just loudness and i don't hear like specific conversations and when i do i just try to zone it out completely um so i don't have a problem with like the noise around me but i find it sometimes even easier to read then and i like it really like a lot because i'm not technically like an introvert like i socialize but in classes where I don't really talk to anyone, I love to just dive into a book and forget that I'm around people. And who it looks really good because your teacher is going to be like, oh my god, she's not on her phone like every other student. And like, she actually has an interest in reading. And I honestly just think that looks good. Like, I think teachers like that and it gives some hope because everyone is so sucked into their phones nowadays. Just know in your head that readers are intelligent. If you think about that and like you aim and strive for like good grades or like if you're struggling in English like reading will make you smarter like that's not cliche like people just say that because it's cheesy you know it's true reading expands your vocabulary it'll just make you feel like so much more confident about yourself knowing that you're reading and not spending your time doing things that aren't really going to benefit you in any way like on social media so I like to read a lot because I know I'm getting something from it other than pure enjoyment you know so so after those five tips, I hope you learned some Spanish. No, I'm kidding. I hope that those can help you try and get into reading more. I know it can be tough if you aren't a reader because I wasn't a reader. Like I, mean, I used to be and then I wasn't and then I was again. 
So you have to make an effort and trust me, after you get like through your first book, you'll just be into reading if it was a good book, of course. There's always not good books. Don't be afraid to put down a book if you hate it and pick up a new one. It's okay. We all DNF those books sometimes. DNF means do not finish if you didn't know that. I didn't know that till like a week ago. And also, wow, an extra tip, extra credit, um, is get on Goodreads. It's like social media for like book people. <laughs> Um, and you can just get motivated a lot because you can put like there's different categories like you can say what you're currently reading and then you can update on what page you're on and it'll just motivate you so much I found myself like finishing books like crazy because I'm like okay well I want to update my status and like so what page I'm on and if I'm enjoying it I want to leave a good review so that has helped me a lot too I'm a nerd I know okay so those are my five plus one tips on how to get into reading and I hope it helps you out a lot. Um, my Goodreads and everything else will be listed down below. I love you guys and leave video requests as always. I don't think I've ever asked for that before but sure. Bye! <laughs>